What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we're going to talk about Element Optics. This is the new Helix first focal plane, 4 to 16 by 44. This was uh, sent to us by Element Optics. A uh, huge shout out to Shane for sending us this to uh, review and not only review but utilize it along with my impact compact um, and we're going to be using this throughout the entire year so you're going to be getting a first hand look through the side shot with this scope as well as uh, being out in the woods hunting things like that but let's get to opening and show you guys what comes in the box this is going to be an unboxing as well as we will stick it on the um, impact and uh, we'll see you know how it looks and measures up so right at the bat uh, element optic sticker gotta love those i have quite a few of those now comes with your uh, owner's manual as well as the uh, the um, um, the guide for the reticles which reticle is this this is MOA, alright, cool. Comes with a nice uh, lens cloth. A couple of Allen wrenches. Your throw lever. Comes with uh, the sunshade. And a set of caps. Which caps are always good to have. And bikinis. Bikinis on it. So here's our scope. I'll go ahead and pull this rubber band off here. Pull the scope out. And the first thing I notice is just how light this is. And um, for me personally, that is stupendous, especially um, on the. Um, on the uh, uh, compact, um, you know, having this lightweight scope is uh, absolutely stupendous. We're going to go ahead and just close this box up, get it out of the way, so that we can talk about this. So this is over here, and um, I can find some scissors. Otherwise, we'll just break this off. But uh, like I said, first thing I notice is just how lightweight this scope really is. And um, let's see here, parallax down to 15, looking across my basement at 10. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Four power is nice. Let's move that out to 16. Just looking across the basement. Oh yeah, it's got a nice, nice reticle. Not too small, not too big. It's actually really, really crisp inside. And um, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of noise, but not a lot, not a lot. Nothing, nothing that I would say you know is is terrible. Um, the uh, parallax wheel. Nice and quiet, very quiet, and uh, just enough resistance. And you know, a lot of people don't realize that you know when when you first get a scope, turn it a few times, it'll loosen up. <laughs> um, you know, right off the bat, let's just let's just open this up and see if we have a zero stop in here. Look at that zero stop. Perfect. Perfect. Gotta love the zero stop. Um, I like to zero my scopes at 25 yards and then just learn my holdovers. Or hold under, 
you know, in some cases, you know, um, my Maverick Sniper, for example, it's zeroed at 25, but when I shoot 50, I don't hold over, I hold under one mil, and it goes ahead and does what it should. Um, IP spins really, really smooth The for the adjustment there. Let's see if we can see where this works out best. Now, if you've never uh, adjusted your reticle, it's really a good idea to look away from it after staring at a plank wall for a second because your eye will actually adjust to the strain to see as clear as it can. So if you just do it quickly and then get off of it for a second, then your eye doesn't have a chance to, uh, to get too used to the reticle. So somewhere right right about there that's perfect and what a nice nice bright radical looking outside this uh, the glass on this is is uh, really really nice um, as far as um, you know um, scopes go um, I honestly this it's very bright it's very clear. Uh, I've got this thing. Let's jack it up to 16. Look outside. Little bit of fog, just a tad, but nothing super outrageous at all. Parallax works really, really well um, as I move my um, scope around. You know, I'm just looking at things that I know are 20 yards away or 25 yards and moving my parallax. It's matching uh, very, very well. Um, clicks feel nice and tight. Very nice and tight. Looks very, very... Um, well well made for sure this definitely holds up to the element name and um, just how well built these are um, as you guys know um, i have a few element scopes already i've got a helix uh, first focal plane 6 to 24 by 50 yeah and uh, i've also got the titan on my uh, bench gun um, and uh this one is certainly right up there with the build quality that the other two scopes um, that I have um, are. Um, you know, is the glass going to be as nice as a Titan? No, but you know, you're you're getting a little bit of extra with that Titan, but it's still very very clear. Um, I wouldn't say, and honestly, let me rephrase that. Are you going to get the same quality of glass as in the Titan? I don't know because I don't know enough about their glass. But I can tell you for a 44 uh, millimeter objective um, or bell or yeah, objective, um, it is, it's very clear. It's very, very clear. Um, I, I'm not going to say anything bad at all about what I've seen so far but um, let's go ahead and get this mounted on to um, my impact and uh, let's see what it looks like we'll be right back later all right we're back and we have it mounted now on the compact m3 and let me tell you as a noticeable difference between this and the optic that I took off of the gun which was my MTC uh, King Cobra F1 um, I mean I wouldn't say it's over the hill but it is definitely noticeable um, nice nice lightweight can't wait to get the single point on this get it out into the elements and uh see where i went with that yeah uh, 
elements. All right, anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, very nice um, eye relief on this. Um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm back a good amount of distance here and uh, I have a perfect sight picture. Um, and one thing that um, sometimes I run into is <clears throat> not being able to move my scope far enough forward uh, on these um, shorter length of pull guns. Um, but this is really, really well balanced as far as uh, my eye relief. Um, it's very comfortable. Like I said, nice and lightweight. Doesn't have to be, you know, honestly, you know, a 4 to 16 is... Look at that. All the noise went away. Just needed to be moved around. That's just from sitting. Um, but... Um, you know, one thing that, uh, you know, a lot of people, sometimes we go overkill and, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting older and, you know, and my vision isn't as good as it, as it once was, but having this thing on 16 power, um, honestly, um, is, is very well balanced in the reticle. And I think that sometimes people don't necessarily, um, understand, um, how exactly, a first focal plane with a super fine reticle um, will look when it's on higher magnification. Um, you know, you take like the MTC, and um, you know this is up to 24 power, um, and the reticle is is very large and easy to see, uh, bringing it down to you know um right around 16 power uh is still very nice and easy to see um but i've had some scopes that um honestly um their reticles are so fine that even on the higher magnifications they're either um super panicky in your face like they're they become really super thick and obnoxious um or they're still just too fine for somebody that is up there in age. And, you know, and I mean, you know, I'm 48. So, you know, I'm getting to a point now where, um, you know, my vision is not as good as it once was. Um, you know, I mean, I can still see and wear contacts. And I mean, I have, you know, uh, 2018 vision, but I still struggle um you know sometimes seeing those finer things and um you know and at the same time um like i said when it comes to the balance of this reticle um, having this thing at 16 power the reticle is not overpowering uh in through the um eyepiece itself um it, it's almost like a perfect it, it really is and I, i'm going to be honest when i say you know, man, Element, you guys nailed it on this radical, in my opinion. You really, truly did. Now, this is a dirty radical. This is a Christmas tree radical. Um, you know, the um, 2D, too dirty, right? Then they have the, I think, the 2C, which is too clean, uh, which is just, you know, your standard crosshairs. Um, this is the dirty radical. Thank God I got a dirty radical. I love shooting dirty radicals. Um, but you know, even coming down to the to the four power, you know, where I've got a super wide um, area, you know, the the construction of the crosshairs themselves still make this very manageable as far as acquiring a target and knowing exactly where to place my crosshairs. Um, so you know, that's really really important, you guys. I think sometimes people people get um i don't know what the best way to put it people get uh confused <laughs> yeah confused when it comes to you know a good radical and a good balance in power to radical um and then so they they get discouraged or they say 
you know, oh, I don't like first vocal plane. You know, I like second vocal plane. And, and sometimes that's just because, um, unfortunately, you weren't able to get a, a well-balanced reticle. And I know I've been beating this horse, but seriously, this thing is amazing. It really is. And, and guys, you guys know me, man. Listen, I'm not, I'm not saying this to suck up to Element or anything else. I mean, yes, I appreciate the fact that they sent me one. But you guys know I keep it real, and I'm going to be honest. And, um, you know, you know, we've, we've talked about the other Helix that I have. We talked about the Titan. I mean, that Titan is still on my bench gun. And I can put any optic I want on there. Uh, but it is, it is really good. It is a really good optic, and it works very well for me. So, you know, I'm not, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have the element on my, on my compact Maverick and the element on my, you know, my Sniper 30 Cal Impact because I don't appreciate element. And this is just another one of those that um, is super, super well made and, uh, you know, and, and we're going to see, you know, time's going to tell. We're going to take this thing out in the woods and we're going to talk about it more. And, you know, and like I said, it's just, it's, it's smooth. Everything functions well. Um, you know, the turrets, the, you know, the zero stop, you know, I, honestly, I didn't know if it was going to have a zero stop, um, you know, for, for the price point and where it's coming in at and, you know, and, you know, for what it is, honestly, I didn't know but they ended up with a zero stop and awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Element, for putting the time into this optic. So we're gonna talk more about this. We're gonna put the side shot mount on it. We're gonna take this gun back out to the range. Um, I still have not had a chance to fix the, um, the valving issue in this, but... <sighs> Please just work at the range because <laughs> because I really want to shoot this thing um, I do have some new parts that are coming for this and we're gonna talk about those as well um, so you know this gun's gonna be on the forefront for a little bit here um, you know this is my only m3 and um, so far I mean you know I, I love it I, I really truly do I mean the valve it'll get fixed it's not a big deal um, like I said, the shop that I go through is an authorized repair center. Uh, the parts are already there. I just need to get it up there and tear it apart and fix it. And that's what we're going to do. So, um, till next time, I'm Moose. This is the new Element Helix 4 to 14 by 4 or 4, 4 to 16 by 44. Sorry about that, guys. Um, first focal plane, dirty radical, and uh, we'll get this thing. Uh, through the side shot get you guys some footage of that let you know how it does we'll we'll you know we'll deal with the tracking and um you know and returning to zero and all that good stuff so stick around stay tuned be good to each other and god bless